What's up, Dad? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to explore ourselves and the meaning of our existence in a short form battle song review based format. Not too long ago, I reviewed the Kershaw Lucha in its natural form. In that video, I talked about how quickly it was becoming a modding platform, and this video is an extension of that. Flytanium sent me a couple sets of their brand new aluminum channel handles for the Lucha, and I'm going to cover how they feel and flip. By the way, we're also making an installation tutorial, and that'll be in the video description and my pinned comment, so make sure to go check that out if you want to learn how to install these. Of course, today's video was brought to you by my brilliant patrons. Their support makes each one of these videos possible. Now, let's get into it. <laughs> these things are striking just from one look. Their design is very unique without a hole pattern at all. Instead, the handles are defined by 3D designs machined into them. The overall design of this mod matches the aesthetic of the knife itself to a T, in my opinion. I really like the idea of making a mod that feels like an organic addition to a knife rather than an aftermarket add-on. Now, this product comes in a surprising amount of colors, and I've got two of them with me today. Flytanium sent over both an orange and a black set for me to review. Both of these colors look great, with the matte finish of the handles looking amazing in the light. The orange is probably my favorite I've seen on a Balasong yet, in a nice sort of burnt orange tone. The black looks nice and dark, looking great alongside the acid-washed Lucha. Also, etched into each version is the Flytanium logo, which looks fantastic in my opinion. Very well-defined laser etching means everything looks nice and professional and will hold up in the long run. One last thing about the design, it's big. I'm big. No, you're very small. Oh no! This thing won't actually fit into my Pelican case properly. That's some serious size. Ow, I'm talking like big, large, McHuge, like big old Badungaroos, like packing some Don Bon Honkaroos, massive Don Honka Bankaloos, like big old Ton Hon Garrett Cougars. I'm Brandon Baker and I did not approve of that line in the script. Build-wise, these things are great. Nice high-quality aluminum was used for the base handle with hardened steel inserts for the Zen pins. Speaking of Zen pins, they are perfect. They keep the handle gap almost the exact same as the original and feel nice and solid when in use. Also, the detail of the blackening on the Zen pins so they match the Lucha's black hardware is a very nice touch. The hardware though for the pivots is really the only piece that remains the same other than the blade. This mod reduces the number of screws you need to worry about from six down to just two, which is fantastic. I found everything fit together perfectly when I received it, which was very encouraging. Also, I have to say, this thing has been a fantastic EDC. The secureness of the build means that it feels great to use as a proper knife and has been my go-to for opening packages at this point. Now, I will say, when I first got these handles, they made a bit of a squeaking sound, and I think that was caused by the washers rubbing against the anodized aluminum. Thankfully, that went away after about a day of flipping it, so it's not a big deal. Another thing, too, is that Flytanium actually sent an update for everybody who bought these handles. What they did is they sent brand new washers which are made of hardened steel. Apparently, some people had problems with the original washers being a softened steel variant, and this hardened steel should allow for better play and performance over time. I think that's really cool that Flytanium would ship this out to everybody that bought this product for free. I find that to be very thoughtful. Unfortunately, Flytanium did not include a fridge magnet and instead elected to include stickers, which is a uh, weird choice, though thankfully they did include this weird Velcro thing. Oh no, it's like in my hair now. <laughs> Installation was pretty easy as well. And with a little help, I'm sure anybody could get those handles on perfectly. But it's a flip funky fresh, do it flip do? Yahoo! Oh. As a matter of fact, this thing has quickly become one of my favorite flippers overall. I've been EDCing it a lot before this review and find myself choosing to flip this modded Lucha over my other knives often. Now, 
it is weird for sure. I would be the first to point out that this is not an ordinary flipping experience. From the get-go, this knife is long, much longer than any other I've tried. It's also thick. The fact that there is no hole pattern is strange to say the least, and leaves the handles with a peculiar feel in the hand. I really love the idea of using 3D milling designs instead of a hole pattern, but it does absolutely take some getting used to. Even so, the design itself is very clever and does a great job of giving you grip exactly where you need it almost all of the time. Okay, so as I said, it's a bit weird to flip, especially at first. I'm weird. Why are you like this? I'm down here for eight hours a day. What? This wasn't my favorite knife out of the box. Once the mod was installed, I found it a bit odd and was taking it slow for the first few hours. Soon enough though, I began to get used to it. By the way, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing in the B-roll to this video, you can buy it at willhirsch.gay. Willhirsch.gay is not intended to cure any disease or illness or stop internal bleeding. The service will bring you happiness, but only fleetingly and has not been approved by the FDA, NSA, TSA, NASA, or Jim from accounting. Please use responsibly. After a couple days, I became really attached to the flipping experience that this thing provides. The length of the handles means that they carry momentum fantastically, and the balance really is just about perfect. Oh, look at that balance. Brandon, look at that balance. No! Oh, oh. No! <laughs> Momentum-based tricks are really what this thing excels at. I find doing rollovers to be a breeze as it carries itself through each combo nicely. Also, it is lovely for chaplains. I think I had a bit of trouble at first while getting used to it, but after flipping it for a while, I love the way this thing hugs my fingers. As for the most technical tricks, it does a pretty good job as well. Aerials are nice and smooth and feel very satisfying to throw and catch. On top of that, it performs great in both parabolics and palm spins, which is awesome to see. Perfection unfortunately does not exist, and the main problem that I have with this mod is the grip at the end of the handle. I do like the feel of the bead blasted aluminum in the hand, but it's a bit slippery. This combined with the lack of any real hole pattern at the end means that the grip is less than desirable for things like choker fans, though I can still pull them off, but it's especially bad for ladders. Unless you've got the finger strength of Thor, I do not recommend attempting ladder-based tricks for fear of the knife flying off into your nearest camera guy. Yo! Ballo songs in a corner with me, Brando Calrissian. So, the original Lucha was pretty good. This is better, much better. Now let me be clear. I'm not a good ballo song flipper, but I can recognize that this is an incredible upgrade over the original Lucha. Does it beat my tried and true cracker racket, which I forgot to bring for this shoot because I'm worthless? Worthless! Not quite, but this is a close second in terms of my favorite ballo songs. It's definitely something that I can learn a ton of tricks on because I have a lot of tricks that I still need to learn, even if the handles are on the longer side. The standard Lucha is good for what it is, especially for the price, but the $100 upgrade to get these handles definitely allow this knife to give other $200 plus balisongs a run for their money. And with my love of the black and red color scheme, all I need is literally one handle to make this perfect. And I'm gonna find one. It's gonna be great. And you know what else is great? Today's sponsor, Honey. Honey is a viscous liquid that you can put on your balisong and leave. But yeah, that's basically it for this one. I really do love this mod, even if it takes some getting used to. It is very much a standout piece in my collection from both the looks and flipping aspect. Also, of course, the colors it comes in are pretty cool, I guess. Before we go, I just want to extend a massive thank you to my patrons for their support. Each one of these videos takes a lot of effort for me and Brandon to produce, and we really couldn't do it without the support of our incredible patrons. If you want to join cool folks like Azriel and Derpinez on the private community Discord, consider donating. Tiers start at just three bucks a month, and every bit helps me replace all the organic matter in my body with honey. Of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as at the Will Hirsch. I post video announcements as well as behind the scenes updates and even live streams sometimes. Also, don't forget to follow my camera guy at the Brandon Baker on Instagram as well. He posts awesome videos and photography and is more metaphorical than tangible. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Now, if you'll excuse me, Brandon and 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 I are gonna go get dinner. <laughs>